What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite trying is back again, giving you the latest and greatest updates on crypto and XRP and on these charts. And it has been a while, you guys. I have been so busy. <laughs> so, so busy. Um, I got a new computer. Loving it. Taking care of my students. Uh, it's been great with them. I'm seeing their progress. Uh, I'm spending time with the family. I'm also spending time with the Lord during this time, trying to get better in my faith and trying to get better in everything that I do because uh, a lot of things are about to go off in these next couple of months and I'm getting ready for it. And I hope you guys are taking this time in quarantine to spend time with God and your family and continue to grow in faith and continue to grow in everything that's going on. So, yes, it has been a while, you guys. It has been a while. So you guys, I don't have too much to say. I'm just thankful, I'm blessed. The only message I have for you guys today is that you continue to seek God with everything you have during these times and take it seriously because uh, God is waiting for people to take him serious and position people to do things for the kingdom and to be uh, ambassadors for God and represent the kingdom the right way. Because there's a lot of I could go into this like for a long time, but we know that there's a lot of people that claim to be believers that don't walk in truth and they doubt and they don't really walk in the fullness of what God has for them. So God is looking for people that are going to be walking in his full truth and be real ambassadors for him. So hope you guys are doing that and seeking God. And I just once again, God bless you guys. And I'm back to make video. So today we're going to go over XRP. We're going to go over gold. You may touch Bitcoin, but I'm not sure yet. So definitely we're going to be touching gold, XRP, and the Mexican peso. So uh, stay tuned and let's make it happen, all right? So starting off with XRP, uh, uh, I'm going to just go to the four-hour time frame. Go ahead and fix it. Oh, nice. So here was the so here was the P wave that I was talking about in my if you follow me on Twitter because if some of y'all are new watching this video if you follow me on Twitter you would have seen that I posted this excuse me a while back right in here I don't have the Rona virus <laughs> the Rona so don't don't get me guys I'm good and I called it back here. And you see price has broken outside here and hit our first target right here. So our next target will be 24 cents, 25 cent range, which would make that perfect end wave pattern. All right. So it would be start from here, come up here, then bounce to the upside up to this level. Uh, and if you're not familiar with the P wave, because this is a more advanced Ichimoku, this is from the Ichimoku wave theory. I'm going to start using uh, advanced analysis now because uh, I like it better and flows with my style and make, catching the bigger moves, but it makes me uh, wait more patiently for these trades, all right? So uh, right now I see XRP holding off here. It's doing pretty well. Only thing I see that I don't like is this bearish cross here. Yeah, this bearish cross here. Uh, as long as it holds above here, it doesn't break this 21 cent level, we're good. So other than that, I see us moving higher at this point. So that's what I see for XRP. Uh, let's go to... Okay. So... A lot of people that are for, like everybody knows if, if you are a follower of Ripple, you know that uh, Ripple, uh, you know they Mexico uses uh, Ripple a lot for uh, actually MoneyGram a lot for cross border payments through XRP. Uh, the peso plays a big role and want to play a big role in XRP's move. As you see, the peso has weakened a lot over the uh, over the course of time. For every now, the price of the peso is twenty four point five pesos for one dollar. So that's, that's Mexico's economy right now. Uh, I do see this moving higher. Uh, I did have it marked up, but we have another P wave on here that I see. 
Mark is just making a lot of key ways when it seems like. Let me go ahead and fix. Right there. So, yes, Peso is trying to make its way up, as you can see. I'm waiting for this breakout here. Trend is starting to come, try to, you know, do a curve to back to the upside daily. The daily, this is what I see here. This is where I have it. So here is the daily P wave, and this is where the next targeted price will be. Up in these levels first, first, we must get past the high. I don't want that. If we fail to break above this box, expect the price to come back down here in the range. But once we break this P wave, because you see it's getting congested in here, and usually when price does this, it explodes, whatever direction that may be. So I'm looking for a break here, and then poss possibly by the 7th of May, we'll get up to this level here. So I'm looking up to this level. This is what I, I, I see in my head. It, it doesn't necessarily mean this is gonna play out, but this is the move that I am looking for. I can't change the size of this. Up too pretty. But anyway, regardless of the size, this is where I'm aiming by this date. Get up in this area. Now, this is the bearish scenario for this play. Right? Come down here. Test either this level here, which will take us back down to this level, or we come back even lower to this level here. But I'm expecting a cloud bounce right here and a move to the upside. Because the cloud is still thick, this is not showing any signs of the market you know, going down further. Still bullish. I'm, I'm waiting for this to angle up bottom of this club angle up now give us a strong signal that the market will be moving higher especially if this starts angling up as well so these are the scenarios that i see playing out like long term uh, let's see last but not least gold right here gold is looking mad fine right now and I another p wave let me fix this real quick my lines are invisible because I have changed my colors. Wanted to make my chart a little, you know, was playing with the colors of the chart, but I didn't like it too much, so I changed it back. All right, so here is what I have. I, I gave this trade to my students. This was the entry, and this was the stop loss. As you see, market moved up higher. So we are currently up in the group chat. Right here, this is how much we're up. So I'm expecting the price to move a lot higher in the long term. Price to move up to these levels. Uh, so let me show you guys this real quick. And the video. Right here on the and if you hear people yelling, my family is here. I'm doing this work, so bear with me. So I'm gonna go to the weekly time frame and show you guys why I have this level. And let me go back to the real fast so I'm a little more precise there now let's go back to the weekly so if you can't see this this is the overall pattern 
Okay, so here we'll complete a cut pattern. Let me take off Ichimoku real quick. It's making a huge little cup here. Don't make any sense at all. <laughs> Up here, so here. Obviously. Gigantic cup on the weekly time frame. But, uh, so I'm expecting price to get in this range eventually for the next wave. Mark that. So this is my analysis for these three pairs. Hope you guys enjoyed this the technical analysis god bless you guys stay tuned for the next video i'm going to be doing consistent videos and leave your you know your request on what pairs or what crypto forex you want to see me analyze for you guys and i hope you guys really enjoyed this video because i'm going to be doing more yes. i'm going to change up the content as well on this channel I'm going to represent God a little bit more on this channel and also give you guys some more technical analysis of what I see in the market. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. God bless you guys. Stay tuned for the next.